Okay, so this afternoon I'm going to tell you a story. It's one of my favourite stories. Hello Meg, you're coming to see me. One of my favourite stories. And this is the way that I tell it. Once, not twice, but once upon a time there was a farmer who woke up one morning and felt hungry. Mm, he thought to himself, I'll go outside and I'll pick a papaya. Now a papaya is quite a large juicy fruit. You can peel them and eat them. They're very sweet. You had one yesterday. So he goes outside and he thinks to himself, right, I'll go down into the field and pick a papaya. So he walked and he walked and he walked until he came to the papaya tree. And there was a big juicy papaya. Mmm, he thought, I'll have that one. He was just about to pick the papaya when it said, hands off! The farmer looked at his dog. Do you say that? He said to the dog. No, nope, said the dog. Ah, screamed the farmer. So he, now you can join in with this bit if you want. So he ran and he ran and he ran up the hill and down the hill the hill and down the hill and round the roundabout all the way to the lake where there was a fisherman at the market selling fish why are you running so fast when the sun is shining so brightly I, you're not going to believe this but I went outside I was so hungry I went out to pick a papaya and the papaya spoke to me and then I turned to my dog and my dog spoke to me that's ridiculous. Things can't speak. And then one of the fish said, Oh, yes, they can. Ah! Screamed the farmer. And he, ready for it? He ran and he ran and he ran up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill and round the roundabout, all the way to a field, a huge field. And there was a shepherd with his goats. And the shepherd said, why are you running so fast when the sun is shining so brightly? And the farmer he said, you're not going to believe it. But this morning a papaya spoke to me, my dog spoke to me, and then I went down to the market and a fish, fish spoke to me. That's impossible, said the shepherd. Oh, no, it isn't, said one of the goats. Screamed the farmer, so he, ready for it? He ran and he ran and he ran up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down the hill and round the roundabout. He ran and he ran so hard and fast all the way back to the village. And when he came to the village, there he met the old king. And the old king, he was sitting on his wooden rocking chair. And the king saw this man coming running along fast as he possibly could, and he said, stop there. Why are you running so fast when the sun is shining so brightly? You're not going to believe this, but first the papaya spoke to me, next my dog spoke to me, after that a fish spoke to me, and finally a goat spoke to me. That's impossible, said the king. Go home. Sadly, the poor farmer trudged all the way home. But the king, he sat on his rocking chair, and he rocked back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And he thought to himself, how silly of that man to imagine that things can speak. There was a long, long silence. And then his chair spoke. Quite so, who ever heard of a talking papaya? Ah! Screamed the thicking. <laughs> And that is the end of the story of the papaya that spoke. Four-leaf clover, our story is over.